This week on Discover Oklahoma, a quirky B&B oasis, a vintage chic boutique, icy delights await you, it's bakery bliss, climbing gym adventures, and a sneakers head paradise. Come with us to Discover Oklahoma. Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Dean O'Lally. Tonight, we are unleashing our inner Funkadelic spirit because the theme of this show is simply fun and funky, which is another way of describing the murals you can find in the Plaza District. There are so many things to do and wonderful places to eat here in the Plaza District, and the topping with the murals ends up being a feast for the eyes. But first, we're going to slide right into our first story, literally which takes us to the fun town of Broken Bow. It's here reporter Deanne Stein and videographer Chris Cook will give us the tour of a fabulously funky themed cabin called the Slide Away Hideaway. Oh, and by the way, I think Bigfoot is a fan of this place. When you arrive to Slide Away Hideaway, it's not hard to figure out where it gets its name when you open the door. We refuse to grow up and uh, we're kids at heart. This three-story stainless steel circular slide is bigger than a child's imagination. I've wanted a slide in, in my house for a long time, and um, we just couldn't figure out how to make it work. And so when we came up here and decided to build, I'm like, yes, <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity to put a slide in our living room. <laughs> we want to bring the adventure to the cabin. That's exactly what the couple does, and we could feel the fun and hospitality as soon as we arrived, especially with their son, who couldn't wait to show off the place. So how many people can this sleep? 32. 32? And I love the decor with its luxurious rustic feel and a few special touches that remind you you're in the woods. There's a room down here that's a bear thing. It's like, don't wake the bear, and there's a big bear in there. Um, the two masters are more just luxury. Um, there's a fireplace in this one, and then the one upstairs has a really amazing shower. The common areas are just as extraordinary, like this massive chef-driven kitchen. Blenders, crock pots, um, there's an Instapot in there. There's all the things that you would use at home, and the utensils, all those things. The okay. kitchen's fully loaded. We didn't want people to want when they came here. like. Um, bring your food and your bathing suits and your hiking shoes. And, and your kids. And, 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 yeah. <laughs> the kitchen expands into an outdoor area with a cozy sitting area facing a fireplace and this relaxing hot tub. Also on this level, guess what we found? Another slide. It goes down to the lower level where I'm told this is the kids' hot tub. While you're down here, you can relax by the fire pit or one of the many swinging chairs or play some bocce ball. Ooh, I think someone has played this before. Turns out I'm pretty good at this. So there's five levels of things to do Adventure, here, so, <laughs> five yeah. levels of adventure. <laughs> yeah. Let's head back inside and check it out then. I have a lot of ground to cover, like this theater room. Honestly, what's close to my heart is the theater because we, we did put that together and um, it's just it's a lot of fun you go in and the seats recline the stars come out um, it's it's very it's nice I like to go in there and watch movies and <laughs> fall asleep yeah, we, uh... the top floor also has the entrance to the massive slide I showed you earlier I quickly lost my tour guide here and he told me these stairs only go up not down I know he's joking but I'll play along and go down does it go fast? Oh my gosh, it goes so fast. <laughs> One last thing I want to show you. I mean, who doesn't love a secret hideaway? It leads you up to a mask where you can spy on the visitors. Just knowing that people are having a good time and they're enjoying making memories with their family and their loved ones, that's the, big, the biggest part of it for us. You can even take part in the Bigfoot lore of the area. 
he'll uh, occasionally <laughs> make an appearance here and uh, like jump out of the woods across the way. We've seen him a time or a two. A time or two, yes. <laughs> he has a little friend too, a little shorter friend. <laughs> we actually caught the pair in the woods while we were there. Don't worry, it's just a costume. It's not really Bigfoot, or is it? You'll just have to come and stay and believe it for yourself. At Slide Away Hideaway in Broken Bow, I'm Deanne Stein for Discover Oklahoma. As you can see, this place is fun for all ages, and you can find all the information you need by going to travelok.com slash slideawayhideaway. Whoever said work couldn't be fun clearly never stepped foot in a place called Blockworks in Edmond. The cook boys, Augustus and Chris, are going to show us at Blockworks, they're not just reaching for old coffee breaks, they are reaching new heights every single day. Today we're on Main Street, Edmond, about five minutes from the University of Central Oklahoma, learning how to navigate a bouldering gym. Blockworks, we are an indoor bouldering gym, and an indoor climbing community. Uh, what that means is our walls only go up to about 13 feet, and we have big pads underneath to catch you. Now, we've done rock climbing gyms before, but Blockworks is a little different, because like Evan said, this is a bouldering gym. So the walls aren't as high, and there are no ropes but you don't need to worry about falls. They teach you how to fall safely during your instructions when you arrive. I'll go ahead and do a demonstration first. Okay. It's just gonna be from this lower part right over here. Once again, we'll never encourage anyone to like, just jump from the top. Gotcha. But I'll go first, you'll do the exact same thing as me right after that. So Perfect. I'm gonna come to here, and I'm not gonna follow any specific colors right now just because I'm showing a demonstration of the practice fall. So let's say if I were climbing here, and I was ready to come down, I would drop by landing on my feet, bending my knees, crossing my arms, and rolling backwards. So, you wanna give that a go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right. Excellent, very nice. Yes. Yeah. And now that I know how to fall, let's see how yeah, well I, I can climb. Yeah. Blockworks Ooh, uses color coding systems on its climbs, so you know what routes to take and how hard they are. This means yeah. it's super friendly to beginners and experts alike. Today, I decided to tackle a yellow, which is yeah. somewhere in the range of intermediate. Come on. Oh yeah, come on, you got this. Lord. Check it out, let's go. Come on guys, come on. Come on, yeah. All the way. Come on. Yeah, one more, one more. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Strong, strong, strong. Yeah, let's go. There we go. All right. Oh yeah. I'm gonna safely nice lower myself down. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sick. And since it is a welcoming environment to both beginners and veterans alike, the community here is really diverse and welcoming. Anyone can climb. I see actual toddlers climbing and then really for all ages. I just love the people that are here, not only the workers and staff, but also the um, the other you know people that come here, that climb. Uh, everybody's really cool around here. Uh, the environment's really friendly. Uh, everyone's here to you know help each other have a good time and get a good workout in. If you want to come and have a casual climb, then this is a great place for that. And if you want to train here to compete, it's also a great place for that. One of the other great things about Blockworks is you never have to worry about getting bored because they switch up the scenery and put up new climbs every week. So what we do is every Thursday we come in and we take down one of those sectors and we put up new climbs. So if you, if you can do that math, that means every four weeks our gym is entirely different. So if you're looking for some great engaging alternative exercise with a welcoming community, you should check out Blockworks in downtown Edmond. For Discover Oklahoma, I'm Augustus Cook. Get all the details about Blockworks simply by going to travelok.com slash Blockworks. We have lots more fun and funky stories to show you coming up. One will blast your taste buds into flavor orbit with some very cool icy treats. But next, how would you like to be outfitted in flex-worthy foot fame? How fun would that be? We'll take you there right after this when Discover Oklahoma continues. Happy birthday! Miss you guys. Blue sky, smiling at me.
talking about blue skies, do I see? Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma as we crank up the fun on the funky meter. Right now we're coming to you from OKC's vibrant plaza district. It's a place where art and color pop up like surprise parties around every corner. These eye-catching murals aren't just paintings, they are a community's swagger on display and we are here to soak it all in. Get ready to step up for our next story. It's a place where art meets the art of having fun with your feet. Reporter Quinn Tran and videographer Brian Boone take us to Kicks by Tom in Norman, a store where you can find athletic wear so fresh they could be framed in a museum. This looks like a small space, but it offers big name sneakers. So once you walk in, you're definitely going to see the Jordans and the Nikes. Thomas Astani owns Kicks by Tom. He collects and sells scores of rare athletic shoes. You can't go into the mall and find these shoes. You, you're not going to see them anywhere else but really a resale store or even like in a museum. Like this pair that's priced for hundreds of dollars. This, for, this shoe is probably the most popular Jordan ever made, just the Jordan 1 Chicago because it's just black, red, and white. Jordan 1 Low, which is Jordan 1 is probably the most popular, but the low top version, and it's the Travis Scott. So Travis is the famous rapper, you know, music producer. He's, he makes collabs with Jordans, and those just instantly sell out, and then those are triple to quadruple what the retail price was. The 23-year-old knows everything about athletic sneakers, especially basketball shoes. His interest started in middle school. His passion was playing basketball and wearing the shoes. At age 12, Thomas learned how to research, buy, sell, and trade top-of-the-line shoes. Because they're so limited. You know, you don't want to beat them up. You want to keep them in pristine condition just so then, 10 years down the road, they're worth triple the value. The girls and the kids love the, the standout. The, the guys kind of like to relax, neutral, but the girls really do love the, the orange, the yellows, the green, stuff like that, yeah. So these are called the Nike Dunk Low Panda, which are just black and white. So these are, you can wear them with anything. You can wear them with orange shirt, blue shirt, black shirt, white shirt. Besides some more than 350 sneakers, Thomas also has a stash of vintage clothing, items from the 1980s, and even this, a jersey that features a former popular OU athlete. Vintage is very popular nowadays, especially with the younger generation like myself. People just want something that looks cool. So if you find an old 1980s Kiss shirt, that's what everybody wants. And you could go find that at the Goodwill for a dollar, and someone will pay a hundred bucks for it if it's pristine from the 80s. This young entrepreneur took a middle school idea, went virtual, and now to a storefront business. Kicks by Tom is located on Campus Corner near the University of Oklahoma, where Thomas earned his degree in economics. Definitely, I think it's cool. Yeah, I went to school two minutes away, boom, and I just got a store two minutes away from where I went to class for four years. But I think it's cooler that I'm from Norman and I open up a store in Norman. Open Monday through Saturday afternoons, Kicks by Tom is a unique store worth exploring to buy or even trade that hard to find shoe. In Norman, I'm Quinn Tran for Discover Oklahoma. For all you sneaker heads out there, lace up your curiosity and discover the hours of sneaker bliss by going to travelok.com slash kicks by Tom. All right, so we just visited a place where you can get a fun and funky makeover for your feet. Now get ready to accessorize and level up your style game at our next stop. Reporter Jennifer Reynolds and videographer Tommy Evans take us to a treasure trove of everything awesome, a destination called Two Broke Hippies and Friends in Shawnee where cool and fun just found their new address. Two Broke Hippies and Friends in Shawnee started with two sisters in a garage. Everybody says you're not old enough to be a hippie. Well, my sister <laughs> taught me all of it. <laughs> Tammy Mac's sister Karen may have taught her the hippie ways, but it takes both to create these groovy, customized goods. Me and Karen started this two years ago out of our house, just for something to do. And our following got so big, we had a little over 800 members within six months, and they were begging us to get a store. So that's what they did, and quickly decided they couldn't do it alone. 
They added vendors to their pad like me and B. It's me and my friend Bonnie, so I'm Brenda and Bonnie, we're bees. These busy bees create everything you see in their booth. We have lots and lots of beads, so if you need anything beaded or um, we have purse, purse charms, got some hippie jars, just anything we can put beads on. There's not two of one thing that's alike. In fact, every booth offers something out of sight. Like Mike here, he does woodwork, he does the crosses, he does necklaces. And I have people who make resin earrings and different resin designs. Tammy even has a seamstress that will professionally fit you. She loves to make the 70s and 60s style pants and they sell great in here. On special occasions, the 70s theme welcomes visitors to the store with the Esmeralda VW bus. Tammy is a good friend of ours. Um, she lives in Jones and she has a bunch of Airbnbs. She comes down with her Volkswagen all the time so people can stop in and take pictures with it and look at it. This place is a gathering. It doesn't matter if you're a biker, if you're a homemaker, it's here. Be sure to visit Two Broke Hippies and Friends in Shawnee. I'm Jennifer Reynolds for Discover Oklahoma. Two Broke Hippies and Friends is open Tuesday through Thursday, 10 to 6, Friday and Saturday, 10 to 8. For more details, just head on over to TravelOK.com slash Two Broke Hippies. Don't go away because we are not finished yet with fun and funky destinations to show you. Next, some of these treats may cause a fun brain freeze. Details on these chilled thrills when Discover Oklahoma returns. Make a date with the great outdoors with the Oklahoma State Parks app. Explore trails, discover events, get deals, book lodging, campsites, and more. Download the Oklahoma State Parks app. Experience a state of wonder. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We are in OKC's Plaza District enjoying these murals, which are actually a beacon for tourism. Our show theme, of course, is fun and funky. We are returning to Shawnee for our next story. It's a destination where fun meets flavor in a really quirky kind of way. Reporter Deanne Stein and videographer Tommy Evans introduces to Epicurean Delight, where they've been dishing out snow cones with a side of fun vibes for years. This snow cone stand has sat on this corner in Shawnee for more than 70 years. And while these snow cones are really quite amazing, I learned that it's more than the snow cones that bring people here. It was kind of a gathering place at night, especially in the summer when it gets so hot. Day or night, Epicure and Delight still attracts people looking for a cool treat on a hot day. In fact, it's a sidewalk now, but this used to be a driveway and you could pull in and actually get your snow cones here and drive by and get the snow cones. To say Jan Tipton is a loyal customer is an understatement. People have said, Jan, you're a little obsessed with snow cones. I said, you didn't grow up the way I did. <laughs> she grew up in Shawnee, going to the same snow cone stand since she was a kid. Now at age 70, a kid at heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're just the best. I mean, they're, they're cold. They're cheap, um, they, they taste good, and I just always like the sugar rush. <laughs> the stand opened in the early 50s and is on its fourth owner. I pastor church in this community, and we want to rebuild and see this community rebuild to what it used to be. It was a very thriving neighborhood and a lot of businesses, and ironically, this is the only business that has survived them all. David Henry reopened the business in 2023 and runs it with his family. When we turned the corner and I saw it was open, I almost did a flip. Every time we see it closed, we think, that's it, it's never coming back. And then, man, somebody always brings it back. So we're so pumped, yeah. The lady who owned it the longest, she owned it from 62 until 2002. And I think most of the people who come remember Miss Eddings, Virginia Eddings and she did a wonderful job. David changed the name but kept the menu the same for these epic shaved ice snow cones. The ice is the key. It's like so soft, right? And they do not um, skimp on the, on the juice, right? The juices, me and my brother used to call it like the juices. We love the juices, right? Those juices come in more than 60 flavors and combinations. You can even get sugar free if you must. I learned to always get clothes that were the color of the snow cone because I'm going to spill it on me. Hey, what'd you get? Ooh, 
I got a toxic waste. Oh, it matches your shirt. It's green. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna order one. So. Yeah, it's like apple. What is like this color? I mean, I probably need like an orange. <laughs> I ended up ordering the Barbie snow cone, a combination of cotton candy and wedding cake syrups. I like cinnamon and I like blue coconut, so this time I did uh, half and half. So, because, you know, I couldn't decide. But yeah, we've had pina colada, I mean, you know, we've had them all over the years, so I don't think I've found one I don't like. As for mine. Yummy, that is so good. The thing that I like the most is interacting with the people, because for me, life is really about people. It is part of the community. It's a landmark in the community. We're very honored to be a part of something that is really Shawnee. And continues to stand the test of time. In Shawnee, I'm Deanne Stein for Discover Oklahoma. Pick out your favorite flavor soon. Grab the details for the store at travelok.com slash Epicurean Delight. All right, we teased you a little bit with those wonderful snow cones, but you didn't think we would wrap up the show so soon without talking a little bit more about food, did you? Because that ain't happening. Stay with us because next we're headed to Stillwater to a place where every day is a treat for your taste buds. That when Discover Oklahoma returns. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We are in the Plaza District in OKC. The final stop on our fun and funky tour is in Stillwater. Now this amazing place has been serving up incredible treats for years. These treats can make a cupcake blush or make a croissant twist with envy. Videographer Brian Boone and I take you to Persimmon Hill Farm and Bakery, and I gotta tell you, this place is a haven for delectable delights. Meet Shauna Richardson. Baking requires both creative thought and skilled execution, so I consider Shauna an artist. She receives joy from her hard work while also giving joy to her customers. There's a touch of magic in what she does, but she's also a stickler for detail. I do have a standard. I, I think I am a perfectionist. I want it to look good, I want it to taste good, and I am very, I had a, an employee tell me one time that I was particular, and I said, I am, I am and my name's on it and I am particular, but it, it's a good thing. Shauna's husband, Bill, says she is the heart and soul of their company. She is a force of passion, dedication, and unwavering commitment around which their entire company orbits. She's the impetus about this whole thing, around this whole thing, with how the earth, this doesn't work. Uh, but she comes up with these ideas, we call ourselves, she's, she gave us this name, we're a country kitchen with a French flair. Another item with a little extra flair, pies, scones, cookies, and even specialty dishes are just a few of the more than 150 baked goods they turn out. Baking bread inspired all of this, and while breads are now a smaller component, the biggest slice of the pie goes into something else. Macarons have been number one. Uh, the macarons today will be 50 to 45 to 55% of our sales, followed by our Probably a close race between the breads, all the different types of breads that we have, savory as well as sweet. I could break that down into savory breads and sweet breads. And then the pastries, the cookies, I talked about the French pastries. Uh, everything Shauna makes is all done by scratch, it's all done by hand. Shauna continues to be a student of cooking and baking, and one of her specialties is French pastries, and her methods are accurate whether she uses a machine or her own two hands. Laminated dough is layers of dough and butter. Not lard, not, you know, not shortening, it's butter. It's where you take dough and you put butter in it, a slab of butter, and then you run it through a dough sheeter and it thins it down. And then you fold it and then you run it through and you fold it until you have like 27 layers of butter and dough. You can almost feel the butter melting in your mouth as you take a bite out of that croissant. After trying several of their products and speaking with a few satisfied customers, we were confident in our sweet assessment. These products are wonderful, wonderful. Her cookies, her chocolate chip cookies are the best. There's nothing we don't like, and she just keeps expanding. It will be well worth the drive to come and try them out. Near or far, they can't go wrong. I love the scones, and that with coffee, they're delicious. 
They taste good and the quality is always the same. They're, they never vary. They're the same high quality every time. The downtown location is a storefront where several products are sold, but the commercial kitchen is located on their farm. Bill told me he and Shauna are tied to the land, and they have been since they married in 1980. I've always told people, I'm the farmer, Shauna's the baker. While working on this story, I remembered a bit of history about how wars have been fought over flour. Well, let me tell you, I would gladly go into battle to protect the delicious products by Persimmon Hill Farm and Bakery. We're really, really good at what we do. I feel like uh, that we take the time to be good at what we do, that we definitely take the time to take care of the customer. Their products are absolutely delicious. Believe me, I sampled several of them. Stop by TravelOK.com slash Persimmon Hill Bakery for all the information you will need to plan a visit. We want to thank the fine folks in the Plaza District here in OKC for hosting us this week. So until next time, remember there's always something fun and funky to discover in Oklahoma.